Hi there, it's Marvina Meek, and we're going to continue with our psychic development exploration of the Tarot. So I always think of the Tarot as like a book of life, and it talks about all of the different phases that we go through in the human experience. So the good times, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. It helps us to understand what sort of thinking and circumstances might have got us into a situation, what the lesson is that we need to gather out of this situation before we're able to move on. So it's a really powerful body of material. And we're going to continue to explore the suit of the disc. So the discs are always talking about what's going on in our physical world, maybe our physical body or possibly our career and how we're able to create and to manifest and make things tangible here on this earth plane. So today we're looking at the Princess of Discs. So I'm going to show you an image of the Princess of Discs here. So this is really a powerful looking image. The princess is standing and you can see she has just pushed her way through this forest. And so what this is talking about is that she's very determined to create. So you look at her and she's pregnant with life. She's pregnant. So this is one of the cards that could indicate a physical pregnancy. So if you're wanting to get pregnant or if you have questions about pregnancy and this card turns up, then it's going to be directly answering that question. But symbolically, it could also be talking about that this is a time in your life when you are very pregnant with ideas. You're very, you've got a, a ripe imagination. You have a lot of desire and it, it shows that you're very determined to manifest things and to bring a crop. So you look at her wand and she's got the staff that's pointed into the ground. So she is determined to bring a crop out of her journey through the forest. So it's kind of like she's had things on her mind a while and now is the time for her to make things happen. So when you look behind her, you see an altar and this altar is showing her determination to be productive. You look at her, um, the gown, so she has a snake that's going over the top of her shoulder and it begins to morph into a gown, like a fur ermine gown. So this is a symbol of a very ancient earthy passion to create. So I think it's a very much a goddess card, a very earthy goddessy card that knows how to manifest, knows how to give birth and hold in her womb all things. All things are birthed out of the womb of the goddess. So you have the spark, which is the spark of creation is the masculine, but this is the goddess card, a goddess image where she's holding on to dreams and forms and all things can be birthed out of this place. So she has the, the crown of Aries on top of her head. So she's very adventurous and she's pioneering. She's not afraid to take chances. So this is really an awesome time to get things done, to manifest uh, things in the physical. Rather, it's another human being, which I think is the highest act of magic that we can do is to give birth to a baby. So it could well be talking about that. So now if this card is upside down, then there's going to be some work to do before you have, you have access to all of the fruitfulness of this card in its upright position. So you may need to do some ceremonies, some meditation, some reflection, some healing, maybe some prayers, uh, clearing work, uh, like in the soul clearing, different types of ways of um, being able to let go and bless and transform any 
obstacles that are keeping you from being productive, from being fruitful. So you want to make sure you do the work that you need to do so that you have access to this really cool time in your life. So this is just a handful of meanings about the Princess of Discs. So you can um, access other information about the, um, the Tarot through my blog. I've got articles on iTunes and I have um, uh, written articles on my blog. I've got a lot of other videos here on YouTube. So if you would like for me to interpret the cards for you and see what the, the ancient symbolism is saying about where you are in life and what's going on, what your lessons are, uh, what you can do to move through this time or what you can do to really make the best of this time, I would be happy to do a tarot reading for you. You can purchase that on my website. And hey, while you're there, don't forget to sign up for my free e-zine. I publish it once a week on Thursdays and I always include um, a couple of articles that are about spiritual and psychic development tips and hints, just simple things that you can do to help you move forward. And I also um, put in an article on a meditation because I really believe in the power of meditation. Um, all right, well, I guess that's all. So I've enjoyed talking to you today. Don't forget to sign up for my easing. If you have questions, message me. Thanks a lot. I'm Marvina Meek. Have a very powerful day. Bye-bye.